Hi folks, it's Monday and we are at Coffee and Revelation and we are now in chapter 5 and I want to just take our time going through this. So we are at verse 6. We've seen the, the lion of Judah and now we see the lamb. Then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing at the center of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who sat on the throne. And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each one had a harp and they were holding golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. You know, earlier on we'd seen John weeping because there was no one worthy to open the scroll. And I think I cited this before, but it's worth citing again Nancy Guthrie's uh, comment in Blessed, experiencing the promise of the book of Revelation. He wept because if no one was found worthy to open the scroll, then there would be no end to the suffering of this world. There would be no confidence in good triumphing over evil. There would be no ultimate victory for God's people. No experience of promised blessings. No new heaven, no new earth, no end to sin and death. No hope. Well, the Lamb is the hope. You know, when John says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, that's John the Baptist. In, in Revelation, you'll find over and over and over again this reference to the Lamb. And here's the Lamb looking as if it had been slain, mainly because it had been slain. Very interesting that this is in heaven and this Lamb is on the throne. You'll see in verse 9, he's somebody who conquered by his blood. Um, because you were slain with your blood you purchased for God. Now we'll look at that tomorrow, but it's extremely important. The, there's no Christianity without the atonement. And then you've got the, the seven horns, which means he's all-powerful, and the seven eyes, which means he's all-seeing. Uh, and again, all of this adds to this very high view of God's sovereignty. It's funny, even in, in doing these studies, there are people who so react against that, Christians who are well-meaning brothers and sisters, but they so react against that. They, they, sometimes the language is almost visceral, or oh, this Calvinistic theology. I, I don't care about Calvin. I care what the Bible says. And I think basically Calvin did as well. Um, and it's just this great picture of God not being dependent on us and not being dependent on circumstances and not being surprised by what's going on is just so important. Well, it's this lamb who's worthy to take the, the scroll. And, you know, I just thought I, I would list some of the verses. Now, I'm not going to list the verses in Revelation because there are so many of them and we'll come up against them again and again. But just understand this is a theme. But we mentioned John 1, 29 already. Look, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. We mentioned Isaiah 53, 7. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he did not open his mouth. This, the, the Passover lamb, 1 Peter 1.19, you were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Now the whole point about the lamb, and I, I remember this from lambing, I remember going lambing at Port Mahomet, I remember my father lambing, I remember my mother one time at three in the morning coming down and having a, 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 a lamb who'd lost its mother there. So tiny and so helpless in so many ways. The lion is, is the opposite. You meet a lamb, you're not scared. But this lamb is on the throne. This lamb is at the center. This one who was slaughtered and slain is there for us. And you know, in this somewhat hopeless and miserable world, I find enormous hope in that. Okay, uh, that's our Coffee and Revelation for today. We shall see you tomorrow when we go on to see, look at the, the new song. So, God bless you and may you know the peace and joy and presence of the Lamb of God taking away, not just your sin, but the sin of the world. Bye.